All right. Now, a lot of people solve algebra equations by just following steps, but they don't really understand what those steps mean. So what I want to do in this video is to review a basic algebra equation and talk about some big picture concepts that you want to keep in mind when you are doing algebra, i.e. solving algebra equations. All right, so here is our problem. We have 3n plus 2 is equal to n plus 10. Now you can see here, I already started the solution. So we're down to these steps right here. We have 3n is equal to n plus 8. So if you can finish this out and uh, tell me what n is equal to, well, that will be fantastic. Matter of fact, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm going to give you some really important algebra models or concepts that you need to understand to better solve equations. All right, so let's go ahead and see what n is equal to. n is equal to 4. Okay, so if you got this right, that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professional basic algebra equation solver, okay? I mean, that just sounds so impressive. Matter of fact, if you have like some sort of name tag, you could put that right on your shirt and, you know, just walk around school. You know, everyone would be very impressed with that indeed. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. And uh, what I'm really going to try to emphasize here is just some of the basic rules and basic concepts of solving equations in algebra. All right, so the first kind of uh, model that I want uh, uh, to kind of introduce to you is the model of a balance scale, okay? Now, back where uh, um, I'm from, okay, I think we used to call these things teeter-totters or seesaws. Uh, let me see here. You would go to the playground, you have these little things, and one person would be right here, and another person would be right here. Now, of course, if you're like me and you grew up in the 1970s where there was no internet, no, no nothing like that, the playgrounds are really cool. We used to always get hurt. You know, when I was a kid, I had all kinds of broken arms and whatnot. Uh, we used to think that was fun. But anyways, one person would be here, they'd go this way, the other person this way, and then, you know, back and forth, seesaw, teeter-totter, uh, et cetera. Hopefully these things exist, but I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. All right, well, that's kind of the vision what I want you to uh, uh, think about when we look at this little scale right here, okay? So we have uh, the equal sign. That's what we call like the fulcrum, right? That's kind of like where this thing balances itself. And we have the right-hand side of the equation, and then we have the left-hand side of the equation. Now, if I can literally like weigh these, uh, put these on a scale and weigh them in pounds, for example, okay, uh, they would be the same weight, okay, because these things are in perfect balance, not unlike our little situation right here with uh, uh, two people on this teeter-totter. If you're sitting here like this, you know, let's suppose your feet are not touching the ground, well, then you are the same distance away from the scale at the same weight, right? I don't want to get too technical, but I think you understand what I'm talking about. If one person's bigger over here, they weigh more, it's going to be out of us. You know, this is going to be going this way. It's not going to be in balance. But equations are um, expressing balance. In algebra, we're stating that the left-hand side is equal in value to uh, the uh, right-hand side. The left-hand side is equal in value to the right-hand side. So you kind of think of that in terms of weight, okay? So that's the kind of the first concept that we want to use. And when we keep that in mind, I want you to uh, uh, think about this um, teeter-totter situation because let's take a look at another uh, kind of model here. Same uh, situation, our little scale right here, right? If I have five pounds here and five pounds here, this scale's perfectly balanced, okay? Now what happens if I add two pounds over here? Okay, well, if I add two pounds right there, well, then obviously the scale is going to drop down because uh, the scale now is we have uh, five over here and seven over here. It's heavier, right? But I could fix that situation by adding two pounds over here. Okay, and then this would become seven, and now the thing would get back into balance. Okay, so the one thing you can always do in algebra, I'm going to I, uh, I'm going to call it the golden rule of algebra. If I have uh, five pounds here and five pounds here, and I add two pounds here, and I add two pounds here, nothing changes. The, uh, the scale 
is still in balance. And that is the algebra golden rule. Now I made this up. There is no such thing as the algebra golden rule, but this is how I want you to remember it. The golden rule of algebra is whatever you do to, you could do whatever you want to one side of uh, an equation in algebra, okay? As long as you do the exact same thing to the other side because the equation is in balance. We gotta keep the equation in balance. So I can add 10 over here, no big deal. I'm not gonna hurt anything as long as I add 10 over here. I can multiply this equation by two over here, no big deal, as long as I multiply the equation over here, I have to be fair. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I gotta do the exact same operation to the other side. Okay, so if you under that, understand that concept, then you understand really the essence of how to solve uh, equations in algebra. Now I'm gonna show you the rest of the steps uh, here uh, in a second. But before I do so, I want to kindly ask you to subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. If you're getting some sort of value on my content, it would mean so much if you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button as well. This really goes a long way for me on my YouTube channel. All right, back to the prompt. So now that we have this kind of golden rule of algebra in mind, right? So whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do the exact same thing to the other side. So that's the first thing we want to keep in mind. The second thing we want to keep in mind when it comes to solving equations is we want to get all the variables to the left. Okay. Now, what are the uh, variables here? We have 3n, and these are variable terms. We want to get, uh, it's like, this is like one team. We want to get all the variables on this side of the field. So that would be all the n's. And then we want to get all the numbers to the right. So we have 2 and 10, all those numbers to the right-hand side. So this is the typical uh, kind of format to solve equations. So when we look at the equation, we're like, okay, let's see here. 3n, you're on the left-hand side where you're supposed to be, and we're going to have to scoot you over there. And then two, we want you to get uh, go on the other side because all the numbers need to go over here. So we're going to have to move some things around. And uh, the way we're going to move things around is to keep that golden rule of algebra in mind. Okay, so now with those two big picture concepts down, we can easily solve this equation. All right, so first things first, I'm going to, uh, now I, I can move the numbers first or the variables first, but I want to collect all the variables to the left and all the numbers to the right. We'll start with the numbers. So again, I have the two, a, uh, a number here on the left-hand side. I want to move it to the other side, right? We just talked about that, all the numbers to the right-hand side. So how can I move this positive two to the other side? Easy. I'm going to subtract two from this side. I'm going to get rid of this two on the left-hand side by subtracting a two away. It makes sense, right? If I got a positive two, just subtract two and that becomes zero. But what's the golden rule of algebra? Well, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the exact same thing on the other side. So if I'm gonna take away two on this side, I have to take away two on this side as well. And if you look at the format, as I'm writing this, you want to copy this style. There's other ways to kind of do this, but I've been doing this for a long, long time. This is by far the best format to write to write this. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. And 2 is a number, so we're going to subtract it from the other number on this side, 10. So we're going to put it just like this. You're going to draw a line, and then you're going to kind of add down in a column manner. Okay. So 3n plus nothing is 3n. Uh, 2 minus 2 is 0. There's no need to write 0. Okay, that just goes away, and we're just left with 3n. n plus nothing is n, and 10 minus 2 is 8. Okay, so we just took one step, and if we notice right now, uh, remember the objective is to get all of our variables on the left and all of our numbers on the right. Guess what? We got all of our numbers now on the right-hand side. Uh, of course, we have just one eight, one number, so we're good to go there. Now we have to work on getting this n uh, this little one end right here over to the other side. Uh, so let's go ahead and take that step right now. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. I have this N over here. I want to move it to the other side, so we got to get rid of it on the right-hand side. So we're just going to subtract this N away. Now, this is an N. You might be saying, well, what number is this? Well, in algebra, if you have like X, N, Y, we have the number in front of it is actually one. That's called the coefficient, but we don't typically write a one. So if you see an N, that's really a one N, 
Okay, so we're going to subtract n from both sides of the equation. Remember, keeping that gold algebra golden rule in mind. So uh, n minus n is zero. And let me go ahead and just kind of add down in a column manner. So we'll start this way: three n uh, minus one n is positive two n. n minus n is zero n. Okay, that goes away. And then eight plus nothing is eight. And now we're down to here. Okay. All right, so this is looking really good for us. This is what we call a one-step equation, one-step equation, because it's literally one step to solve this equation. And uh, we have 2n is equal to 8. Notice we have all of our variable stuff on the left and all of our numbers on the right, so we are ready to solve this equation. Okay, so 2 uh, times n is equal to 8. Now, there's other things that I want to kind of get into uh, but this is not the video to try to teach you everything about solving equations. But I want you to notice something here. That Let me go back to this step here. If you notice, we had 3n plus 2. Now I subtracted 2 because I had I wanted to get rid of this 2. I'm doing the opposite um, um, math operation. So if this is addition, I'm doing subtraction, right? So over here, uh, this is addition. I'm doing subtraction again. Now right here, 2n, this is multiplication. OK, so to take the next step, I'm doing division. So if you're kind of noticing that pattern, you are spot on. Right. So here I have two n. My objective is to just have one n. So how can I get uh, n by itself? Well, I'm going to divide two n by two. OK, so two divided by two is one or one n. But again, golden rule of algebra, whatever I do to the left hand side, I got to do it to the right hand side. So two n divided by two is one n. Eight divided by two is four and we are done. Okay, so n is equal to 4. That is the solution to the equation. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's go back up here, and uh, n is equal to 4. And let's just plug in for n. n is equal to 4. And hopefully, uh, this is going to um, make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. So 3 times n is 4, right? So we're going to plug in. Instead of n, we're going to write 4. So that's going to be 3 times 4 plus 2. Is that the same thing as 4? That's n, right? Plus 10. So 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2. 12 plus 2 is 14. Is that the same thing as 4 plus 10? 4 plus 10 is 14. That is a true statement, okay? Uh, so the number that we plugged in that caused this to be true is called the solution. So n is equal to 4 is the correct solution. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.